Well, we're back uh, right here in the studio. And if you're just tuning in, you're watching Hella Kuwait right here on KTV2, the family channel. And we have with us right now uh, Mr. Hamza Taqi, and he is a master performance uh, consultant. Uh, Hamza, welcome to our program, Hella Kuwait. Nice to have you once again. Thank you for having me, and it's my pleasure all the time. My pleasure also, and our pleasure to have you right here on our program. And uh, we'll start out our program now. We want to talk about success. So what is the meaning of success in your opinion? Oh, there is a... Uh, Success is, uh, is, is we it's say, vast, huh? yeah, it's vast, and it's in the eye of the beholder. Right. So it depends where you are, what stage you are in your life, or even uh, which level of uh, Maslow hierarchy you, you are in uh, to, to be successful. So success, for example, for somebody who, who doesn't have a meal, getting a meal for him is successful, or sure. for her is successful, or getting a sh shelter for that matter. So it's it's uh, it depends. It's it's a personal thing. So it depends on uh, where you are and what you aspire. And in each individual has different needs. And satisfying the needs or reaching the stage where where they feel they're a success. Exactly. They they don't need anything. And it else. differs, they're I think, from males to females too. Oh right? yes, definitely. And what they see as a success. Yes. Yes. So female are more of uh, wholeness. Male is uh, more like uh, focus on one thing. Uh, so that's the difference between the male and the female. Because male can be like excellent in their career. And they can be very successful in their career. But uh, the other element of life, they are not doing well. So they, they, f uh, they focus. Women tend to multitask. So they have maybe five things that they are not 150% or 100% successful but they are maybe 80 percent but they are happy with having different elements of their life being you know addressed so Hamza how do you consider yourself a success what are some maybe criteria that every individual should look for or that also differs from person to person exactly because see if I if, if I say like me when when I was successful the first time I was successful is when I finished high school and when I got a good you know score to get me to a good university. Getting to university, finishing university was a success. Getting a job was a success. Getting married. And so it depends where you are, really. Uh, and, and to make it simple for our audience, we have in life, you know, we have like 10 aspects of life. And if you are really, really touching all these aspects of life, I would say you would be considered Ten successful. Aspects, huh? Ten, yes. Tell us. Family. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, relatives and friends, uh, then you have your career, uh, then you have your entertainment or your leisure time, your relationship with God, uh, your financial, uh, uh, your health, and then your, uh, you know, your self-development, let's say. So in these 10 things, if you are, you know, uh, working on balancing all these areas, then you are really considered to be. But Nobody can be, you know, uh, th then you reach perfection, really, if you reach 100% in all these sense. So if you reach 70% in on each element, is good. But reaching, for example, 80% here and, uh, for example, 20% in the family, your life will not be good. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a balance, kind of, where all the aspects of life are touched. So how do you push through, you know, your worst of times or when you're not feeling s that successful, you're feeling down, how do you go forward? Me? I smile. From your opinion, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I, we I always <laughs> see, I'm the audience see your passion and you're always smiling, very yes, positive. Yes, yes, I smile really, because smiling by itself, it changes your uh, brain chemistry and gives you uh, some good chemicals and it changes your mood. Changing your mood is, is the best way. And then you, you look at some heroes that, you know, they went through really tough time and they became, you know, successful, and they created a legacy for themselves. So they they can give uh, s uh, can serve as an idol or somebody uh, as a mentor that you can see how successful they are, and they you follow uh, their footstep. For example, uh, someone like Edison, like Edison, you know, uh, tried so many you know trial to reach the bulb, the light bulb, uh, failed like nine hundred and something times. But he didn't see it as a failure. He say he saw it as a step toward, uh, you know, success. So worst time is really good for us. 
it's something, it's like uh, for our soul, something like when you go to the gym, you take, uh, you know, a uh, heavy weight to, to uh, uh, strengthen your muscle, you know, toughness and, and hard times and challenges are considered to be a step stone builds for us. the character. It builds the character and it enables us to go to the next level of our life. Great to hear that. Yes. So what are the best success habits? So tell us about that, please, sir. Oh, there are uh, like, uh, I would say, see, the whole life is, 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 is time and energy. Now, time is running for all of us. I mean, it's the same in the same uh, in America, in the Kuwait, in Japan, it's for everybody. Humans and nature. Yeah, for his, his Highness the Prince or anybody. Everyone, it's yes. It's the same thing. So it's running. So what we, and we cannot control it because it's out of our, uh, you know. Control, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, uh, circle of influence. So, so we can control only our energy, how we show up. And if we can control our, our energy and show up in a good energy, uh, we change lives. We, we can, you know, help uh, and, and uh, become successful because of our energy that comes. You know, some people, they wake up in the morning, snooze, snooze, snooze. And then they wake up, they say, oh, my God. You know. Grumpy. Yes. Uh, other people, they just, you know, get up and they are jumping up and down. And they are seeing life that they, it's a new day of life. They're happy they're to be forward. up and doing yes. things. Exactly. That's Absolutely. true. So what person, now we're talking about leaders a little bit. So yes. what personality traits should every leader have? Well, there are so many. But Tell us uh, about that. But the main ones are like, for example, self-management. Uh, meaning having a mindful uh, mind, uh, being aware of where you are and what, uh, controlling your thoughts, your emotions. Uh, that's very important for uh, a trait for a, a leader. And then the second thing is uh, really effective communication, uh, envisioning the future, having a, a good uh, 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 way to see the future, what's coming, uh, so they plan for it. Of course, uh, team, team. And, and they are team players and they know they cannot do everything by themselves and they have to have the team with them exactly and, and, and they bring them with them make them feel valued and absolutely and that's what makes the team you know work harder and work uh, in a much they give them way. responsibility make them feel like a family exactly feel empowered they are involved it's their vision so they work harder and uh, to achieve uh, the success th uh, they want because nobody can you know uh, be successful by themselves Sometimes we see like gurus or somebody who's really successful and we see him by himself or by herself. But, uh, you know, if you dig down, you see like maybe their spouse are, you know, backing them up. They have a team of associates that are helping them up to uh, be successful. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, being gritty. Uh, you know, resilience is not like uh, how you look at failure, like we, we talked about Edison. Uh, failure is, 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 you know, you fail and you get up, you fail and get up. Uh, having passion, uh, uh, you know, uh, caring, uh, wanting to do something uh, for, not for themselves, for the entire world or for the humanity. So they create a legacy somehow. I guess this is some of the traits of uh, being uh, a successful leader. And now what, what skills should a successful person have? Not necessarily a leader, just in general, a, a person, what well, skills should they have? See, uh, uh, when we say a person or a leader, it, it can be, you know, They're overlap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a person can be a leader or a leader can be a person. So it's almost the same thing. It's, it's like uh, your time. How do you manage your time? Uh, what are your priorities? Uh, are you, uh, you know, uh, having uh, a goal that you aspire and makes you get up every morning passionate to go and do the work, the hard work. Uh, uh, having, you know, uh, 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 delaying gratitude and, and doing the hard work job. Sometimes we tend to want to play first and then do the work. And, and successful people don't do that. They do the hard work first and they know the time where they can have fun and play. Yeah, it's about a little time management. Exactly. It's very important uh, to it's do that. It's, it's, uh, I would say self-management rather than time management yeah. because, as we said, you know, time is passing for all of us. Yeah. How I use that time. So I'm managing my time rather, uh, myself rather, sure. managing the time. Yes. Very important to yes. note there. So exactly. how to maintain? Let's say you've achieved some success. 
how to maintain that or even get more success. Sometimes people get it and they take for granted and they fall down. They How fall, do you maintain it? They fall down because they don't stay humble. Yes. And become a, like a seeker. Uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of knowledge. There are a lot of learning that you can do. So just keeping your mind open to new possibilities, uh, learning new stuff, um, le educating yourself in different uh, fields. Now they're talking about, you know, uh, AI in a big way and uh, machine learning. And so, you know, having the... Uh, the audacity to, to really uh, dig and learn and, and uh, open book and read uh, helps a lot uh, to uh, become uh, successful and having uh, that habit is, is really uh, important. Yeah, that's an important thing. So uh, tell us a little bit more. What uh, You know, we're into the new year. Yeah. A lot of people have like new year resolutions. Right. They want to be more successful. They want to be more happy. They want to do, do one, two, three, four. Yeah. What's your opinion on just uh, yeah, leading a nice, good life? It's, 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 it's three things. It's health, wealth, and happiness yes. together. And, and basically, uh, uh, doing something that you love, you know, uh, and, and especially, you know, when, when, when... Something you have passion for, huh? Exactly, that, that you, you're willing to... And, and the, the only way you can measure whether you are really loving what you're doing, if you are willing to do it for free. Mm-hmm. But don't let your customer know that. Yeah, <laughs> so, okay, yeah. so they don't pay you. Uh, no, I mean, you know, when you do something that you really love, uh, then you will be, uh, you're on the right track. And um, uh, I've always said that, you know, uh, controlling your mind, not over, over think. Don't think too much of the future. Uh, have a goal, have a vision. Uh, don't think too much on the past. Living the moment, living the present makes you, uh, you know, uh, accomplish a lot and, and become happy and satisfied. And hopefully you become wealthy. Uh, you know there are. A lot. It's not like before. Before we we need to be an engineer or or a medical doctor or or for example, I remember in, when I finished high school, I wanted to be a pilot. You know, and and that was my dream to be a pilot, to be soaring above the cloud yeah, and, yeah. and going from one country and yeah. traveling. Uh, but then you know when I went through the assessment, I went through the 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 uh, interviews. Uh, was successful and I'm about to go to uh, study uh, being a pilot, I made sure to go to the airport and wait in the arrival and wait for to see some captain going down. So I saw one captain, you know, with his full suit, with the cap, and I was like, you know, wanted to go and talk to him. <coughs> so I went and asked him, I said, excuse me, I wanted to be a pilot. In about two months, I'm going to travel and go to study a pilot, what do you think? How was being a pilot is? He looked at me and he said to me, really, 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 you want to be a pilot? I said, yeah, why? He said, because y you don't have a, a social life. Forget about being married because you're gonna be traveling uh, or making a family. And then I thought about what he said. And I said, I know, I better choose another, uh, you know, way career. Uh, a career. And I uh, selected engineering, uh, what I, uh, most uh, difficult electrical engineering. But then when I graduated, and that was a success, to finish all this uh, fine, uh, you know, uh, differential equations and thermodynamics and uh, electrical circuits and all these things, only I end up to work in the banking sector. Okay. Has nothing far away from that. Has nothing. And I was like eager to learn with my book and I write uh -huh. everything they... They tell me... You uh, always have a journal with you. Wherever you go, I <laughs> see you exactly. jotting down things. <laughs> exactly. So, so I, uh, and after six months, uh, you know, the oil sector called me for... For, for a job, yeah. For a job. And I said, no, I, I'm... You're happy. I'm happy here because That's I was good. learning something new. Sure. Yeah. And you were satisfied and exactly. doing well there. I was happy, yeah. So tell us, what advice you give to someone now who's starting out? You know, they're just now, let's say, starting out in whatever they may be doing. See, it's difficult to give uh, an advice to uh, people because you, you have to be in their shoes. You have to be in their, sure. in their, in their environment yeah, because yeah. different people with different environments have different things. Yeah, have different. But the main thing I would say to this is uh, relax. I mean, you know, saying relax to a young person, maybe it's hurtful, maybe it's painful, but uh, I really mean it. Don't overwhelm yourself. Just try things. 
uh, don't worry about how much they're going to give you. Worry about what you will become getting that job, not necessarily the money. And 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 explore, uh, do th do like you know because w you're starting. You don't have any obligation. You don't have family. You're not worried about anything. You're by yourself. So exercise different or experiment different uh, venues and different places until you see. Of course, this is if you don't know where to go or you don't know, you don't have uh, a clear objective or a clear, you know, for me, I, I, I didn't know what to do. Uh, so, so basically, uh, play around and, and do, uh, uh, I mean, work in different industry diff until you find what you love and what sure, your passion you have a is. Passion for stick to it. Stick to it. And I think that's the easiest way to do Because, you know, if you fail in the beginning, it's okay. But failing in the <laughs> later <laughs> in stage. our age is, is bad. Yeah, it's not yeah, good, yeah, yeah. So do it in the beginning and yeah, learn from, and it, from it, and then and keep going to success. To absolutely. success. That's very absolutely. well said. And as usual, it's a very big pleasure to have you with us and your knowledge sharing with the audience out there. Any last words for the audience this evening? Thank you, my friend. Well, uh, audience, I'd say uh, just do it uh, and uh, work on what you love. And uh, sometimes, you know, stay with yourself for uh, five minutes in the morning and think of why, uh, what's your why, you know. Because if you know your why, you will know how to do it. Very well said. And thank you so much, Hamza, thank for you. coming this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'd like to thank our distinguished guest, uh, Hamza Taqi, a well-known uh, personality right here in the state of Kuwait and a master performance consultant for joining us this evening right here on Hala Kuwait. Right now we're going to go to our next report and it's a workshop and introduction to free drawing building for our young architects. So let's take a look at this workshop. Stay tuned.